Hello, I'm Hazefest. I'm going to be your guide for AutoHotKey on the Eden server. If you've never used AutoHotKey, I'm going to keep everything very basic so that you can follow along. And I'm going to do visual representations of what everything is so that you can see what AutoHotKey is doing. I um, started using AutoHotKey because other people were using AutoHotKey that I was fighting. And uh, there's always been this big controversy controversy of is is it cheating? Is it not cheating? It's not cheating. It's within the rules as long as you stay within no loops, no delays, and no automation of any kind. So I don't have any of that in my scripts. The stuff that I do with AutoHotKey requires a user to input a value, and then it will perform an A B C D E string. So. Without further ado, let's get into it and uh, hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. All right, so we're going to engage this combat dummy. I'm going to go ahead and stealth up. I'm going to show you what happens when we use auto hotkey. I perf. Creeping death. Stay behind it for back styles. Move to the side with the same button for side styles. You can use your instant cast abilities in your styles if you're a class that can do that. Champions, nightshades, stuff like that. If you're a caster class, you can put offensive and defensive spells on the same buttons. So if you're targeting an ally, you will cast one spell. If you're targeting an enemy, you'll cast another. Okay, so we're here at the combat dummy. We're going to do attacks against the level 50 dummy. Uh, things that you can do with auto hotkey, for example, is you can, you know, if you like to use snap back off, but you want to reset your camera when you attack people, normally you would just reset your camera. But with auto hotkey and snap back off, we can run around, watch our enemy, and then when we're ready to engage, we can cast on them. And when we cast on them, it's going to face the target as well as use snap back uh, I'm sorry it's gonna reset your camera so we can see the enemy we go ahead and hit our cast button and as we cast on the enemy it will reset our view we'll get a perfect view of the enemy as well as face them so if you're a caster that's pretty useful to add to all your spells that way you can kite people and when you're done kiting them or when they run turn off to go attack someone else you can immediately re-engage Another good thing, if you are on Eden, you really need to have multiple ways of engaging the enemy with openers. And what does that mean? Openers are side, back, front, and anytime styles. So if I run upon this enemy and hit him from the side, I'm using my two button to hit it with a side attack, and then I come up behind him. I fail to execute my ice storm perfectly. So, in this case, if I open up my script and take a look at it, this is what we're doing right here. Five, six, and seven. Just for giggles, let's take this, this, we're going to put everything on one string. We're going to save it. We're going to run it as an administrator, replacing the current one. So now everything is on one line. The thing about the send command is that when you use one line in the send command, it works. So you're having issues where your styles are not working, you can try doing it that way. Um, another thing, we'll add Sidewinder to the mix, so now it's Ice Storm, Sidewinder, Black Widow. It fails. It failed. It failed. So three styles doesn't work. If I take out the third style, it works just fine. So two styles is the sweet spot. You can have a side and a back. 
You can have a side and an anytime. You can do a front and a back. You can do a front and anytime. You can do a back at any time. But in order to increase your chances to not fail your attack, you need to only have two styles to open up combat with. Once combat is started and your melee swing timer is engaged, you can use whatever styles, however many you want, on a single key. Like, for instance, Reavers can use their block and parry chain styles on the same key, and that's seven styles. But they have to already be automatically swinging for it to use the correct styles each time. So, Stealther Openers. So, I'm going to come up on this target. I'm going to use one button for both Perf and Backstab. Here's Perf. And I'm going to use that same key for a Backstab. This is just showing you that it works. I'm coming up on the target. Hit my 3 button. It does Backstab. Now, the only reason that that works is because I'm using only perf and backstab on one button. So what happens with thigh cut, creeping death, stunning stab, you put those on a second key. So what I do is I come in, stealth, put my finger on my three button for perf, hit my four button for creeping death, and there we go. We're engaged. So that's how that works. Now, the next thing, the last thing to test would be our anytime styles. So how does the anytime styles work with reactionaries? Well, since we can't do our reactionaries on this enemy, it's only going to do the automatic anytime style. So in order to get the reactionaries, we need to go to another combat dummy, and we'll go ahead and head there now. All right, so here we are at the combat dummies that fight back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test just my reactionary styles, which are going to be my after evades, since I don't parry your block. I'm going to use my after evade styles with my any times, and you'll see what that looks like. So I have two different ones. I have one which does hamstring and leaper, and I have five which does diamond back and an eight second stun. So we're going to start with our first style, which is our any time and there goes hamstring, there goes hamstring, there goes hamstring again. If I fail to evade, or if the timer for evade runs out, I'll go right into leaper. There goes leaper, and then when I don't do either, it does ass bite, which you saw just there at the end. So now, I'll engage the enemy again, but this time I will use my eight second stun. See what that looks like. And once I land the stun, I will do my after evade styles. We'll go right in, auto attack. So there is first one, and there's my eight second stun. Go right into back styles once I've landed the stun. Gotta do some good DPS now that the enemy's fighting me again, so go right back into my one so that I can do hamstring and asps bite. So hopefully that gives you a sense of what you can do with auto hotkey. These are just the very basics. Um, eventually I'll show you how to build this script that I'm using on my nightshade. You can go ahead and get the scripts from my Eden Google Drive. I'll put that in the description below as well as in the uh, timestamps. You'll see all that information in the description. If y'all have any questions or concerns about AutoHotKey, or if you want to see something done in AutoHotKey, or just have questions, you can post them on the YouTube channel here, on this video, or you can ping me in Discord, or you can uh, whisper me in game. My name is HazeFest, in game as well, just do slash who HazeFest. If we're on the same realm, you'll see me pop up if I'm online. If you want to contact me on Discord, it's HazeFest, hashtag 1135. And uh, I'm on pretty regularly. You can hit me up, and I can also answer on my phone if I'm not at home. But yeah, Auto Hotkey is amazing. Ever since I learned how to use it, I started doing more and more research on what you could do with it, and I've just been 
enjoying it. It makes the game feel better. It makes it less stressful. When you get excited in RVR combat, you don't really miss your keys that much. You can still miss them, but it's it's less of a chance. You know, you don't have to hit six buttons in order to do all the, everything that you want to do in melee combat. You don't have to stick, you know, style one, two, three, four. You just hit one button and style one, two, three, four is done for you. So hopefully that helps. Hopefully you learned a little something from this experience. Um, I've updated my scripts to a new version. So if you've seen my Phoenix auto hotkey video, I've removed delays. I've simplified the way that everything is displayed in the actual text. So if you look at the screen here, everything is a little bit more neat and uniform. I've switched to a vertical input instead of a uh, horizontal input, which would be right here, the SIN 567. That is a horizontal input. That's three button presses right there. I decided to do it vertically so that you could easily see every key press and go back and modify any of the key presses should you need to. Or if you uh, need to skim for mistakes, you can easily see what's there at a glance rather than, you know, all jumbled up together going to the right. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Hayes Fest. Y'all have a good day.